school. High school. Thank you. I always, uh, at this point, remember riding the danger field because some of these were some hard acts to follow so far. It's a great honor uh, to introduce and be able to give my reflection on the late Joseph C. Williams, one of the greatest basketball coaches in the state of Georgia. I have met Coach Williams twice in my life. The first time you meet someone for the first time or the second time and you get a positive life impression of that person, that's what Coach Joe C. Williams stood for, I think for everyone that met him. The most humble, the most successful, humble person I ever met was Coach Williams. The first time I met him, unfortunately, was we played in the Macon Coliseum back in 2001. And I called up uh, my great friend, my dear friend, Rufa Mc McDuffie, who was at Mitch Mitchell Bakel, who played him often, and he gave me some advice. He said, Coach, either stay home or get ready for a 2-2-1. Sometimes you have to find the positives when you play teams like the great Joe Williams teams. The positive that I took out of that game, we was up 7-6 in the first quarter. <laughs> the score at the end of the game was 70-50, to 50, and I'll leave that right there. <laughs> Joseph Williams, 45 years at one school system in Henry County, I'm not Henry County, but I'm sorry, at Randolph Clay and Clay County High School, 45 years at one school system is something to really reflect on. Six state championships, five state run-up championships, and 33 region championships. He also broke the record in the state of Georgia for most consecutive wins. That was 77 consecutive wins. He also, at, he broke that record, and now it's 90 when he broke it. He, when it's, it's 90 straight. Coach Williams was also inducted. He also was the Athletic Coaches Association North Star, uh, selected to coach the North All-Star Game. I was there in Savannah a couple, those couple years ago. He was awarded Outstanding Georgia State Senate and was awarded uh, the Bobby Crimmins Naismith Award. When I said he was awarded the Georgia State Senate Resolution Award, that's very special. He also um, was awarded the Atlanta Tip-Off Club in 2004. His, his dedication to the coaching profession is unsurpassed. He will always be remembered as a winner. I'd like to just reflect on the resolution that he was uh, received from the Georgia State uh, Senate. Commending the Randolph Clay boys basketball team and, and, the, and Coach Williams for the, the other purposes, whereas the, res the, res the reigning Class A champion of Randolph Clay schools boys basketball set a new state record on June 17, July, January 17, 2006. When they beat Bainbridge High School 76 to 46, they are setting us up a consecutive win. Whereas this team performed with precision during the season and earned a well-deserved reputation for high school <coughs> standards and athletic achievement. The quality of, it, of, it, of its play and stiff competition where it is presented its opponents. And whereas the amazing athletes have clearly demonstrated their outstanding, legendary, <coughs> outstanding excellence. And whereas the ex extraordinary basketball team is led by their amazing 73-year-old coach, efforts of individual coaches made on the quality of academics and athletics training received by young people in the state. Now, therefore, by it being resolved, the state senate that the members of this body recognize Randolph Clay School boys basketball team for their outstanding 2005-2006 uh, season for winning more consecutive games than any other basketball team in the state association history. 
ever has. And heartily and gratefully commend Joe Williams for his years of sacrifice, foresight, accomplishment, and contribution on behalf of athletic, athletics in Georgia and for positive influence he has had upon lives and futures of young people in the state of Georgia. Be it further resolved that this Secretary of State is authorized to transmit appropriate copies of this resolution to Randolph County High School and Coach Joe Williams. I'd just like to say out of all the men and women that has been inducted in this great Hall of Fame, and I would like to always be curious to see how many have gotten a resolution as a part of that. From one of his players, I'd like to reflect what he said. I played for Coach Williams at Randolph High School in Culture in 1989. And I must say I learned much from him. I did learn a lot of basketball, but most important, I learned about life. Coach Williams was a father figure to all of us, all of us players. Very few of us had a male figure in our lives. I can honestly say he was the closest thing I had to a father. There's, there's an old saying, to be a man, you must see a man. Coach Williams was that man for every one of us players and also numerous students at Randolph Clay High School. And that was by his player, Marvin C. Crumbs. The principal at, at uh, former principal at Randolph Clay, Lee Bird, I truly admired his strength, intelligence, compassion, and dedication. He was a true soldier and showed up it showed up to work every day, prepared, and to make a difference in the lives of young men and young women. As a matter of fact, almost 50 years of this man's life were dedicated to education. Coach Williams was, spirit, was a spiritual man that loves his biology, biological family and as a school and his school family. Coach Joseph C. Williams is a dynamic person that is impact, impact the lives of many uh, individuals in a positive way. And lastly, I would like to reflect on a closer person to his life, which is his grandson, uh, Joseph Thornton. Last year, my family and the entire Randolph Clay community lost lost him a lost him after the after a long that linked to illness there's so much to say about the grandfather and the words that cannot express how much it's meant to my family and the community he was more than a coach because he touched the lives of so many people i would like for first of all his daughter miss chandra williams to stand Also, I would like for all of those that are here representing the late Joseph C. Williams to also stand. And I would like for his grandson, Joseph Thornton, to come up and receive this presentation for his dad, his late dad, friend dad.